We'll work now an example problem where we use the conservation of momentum. Let us suppose that a cannon, which weighs 5,000 kilograms, or a little bit more than 11,000 pounds, fires off a cannonball, which weighs 50 kilograms. Cannonballs generally move very fast. We'll assume that this one moves at approximately 200 meters per second, or about two-thirds the speed of sound. We can ask what will be the speed of the cannon, which recoils backwards under the after the, the expulsion of this cannonball. In this problem, we have to recognize that momentum will be conserved because we can draw a box around the system consisting of the cannonball plus the cannon. And because there are no net external forces acting on the cannon plus the cannonball, then we expect momentum to be conserved. Before the cannon has fired, the total momentum of the system is zero. The cannon is sitting there at rest. The cannonball is sitting there at rest. We therefore expect, because of momentum conservation, that the final momentum will equal zero as well. The final momentum may be written as the mass of the cannonball times its velocity to plus the mass of the cannon times its velocity. In other words, the final momentum consists of the momentum vector of the cannon plus the momentum vector of the cannonball. We know most of the variables on the right-hand side of this expression because we're told the mass of a cannon, the mass of a cannonball, and the velocity of the cannonball. We may therefore solve for the velocity of the cannon, which will equal minus the mass of the cannonball divided by the mass of the cannon times the mass of the, the cannonball. And notice the minus sign, which is quite important, because this means if the velocity of the cannonball is positive and it's moving to the right, then the velocity of the cannon itself will be negative. In other words, it is moving to the left. That's in accordance with our intuition that if we have zero momentum initially, then and we must have zero momentum finally, then the momentum vector of the cannonball must point in the opposite direction of the momentum vector of the cannon. Numerically, our answer is that the cannon's velocity will equal minus the ratio of 50 kilograms over 5,000 kilograms times 200 meters per second. This comes out to minus 2 meters per second. In other words, a speed of about 6 feet per second moving to the left.